How's it going everybody? You know who it is. My name is Sun Wu, and in today's video we are gonna take a look at the OP1's string engine. The string engine, as the name implies, emulates a real-world string instrument and it uses physical modeling synthesis to do so, more specifically car plus strong synthesis. And in car plus strong synthesis, the signal starts out with a noise burst, which we can understand as either the pick of our guitar or the bow of our violin, meaning this is what starts our sound, this is what excites the string in the first place. And as with a real string, over time that string will vibrate less and less, meaning the volume will decrease over time, and so will the high frequency content, meaning the longer the note goes on, the less high frequencies you will hear. The same thing is achieved in car plus strong synthesis by using a feedback delay that goes through a filter over and over, meaning more and more of the high frequencies will get filtered out the more this delay goes through the filter. Alright, let's hear what it sounds like and go through the specific parameters. But first off, let's have a quick look at my envelope. I have no attack, no decay, I have full sustain and a very long release. And that's because I want to have an open envelope because the synth engine itself has some kind of envelope built in with its filter and with its impulse decay. And therefore I want to highlight what the engine is actually doing rather than my envelope. All right, the first parameter is the tension parameter. This defines how tight or how loose the strings are and therefore how long the sound can ring out for or how quickly it decays. And this is achieved by the tension parameter actually controlling the filter envelope in our feedback loop. Meaning if the tension is very low, the filter in the feedback loop closes very very slowly and therefore the audio can ring out for much longer and you'll hear more high frequencies for a longer time and when we make the strings tight we are closing the filter very shortly and therefore we get very little high frequencies and only a very short string sound. So first let's try a very loose tension on the string. You will see that the filter still cuts down some high frequencies over time but it takes a lot longer when the tension is low and also the low tension allows you to almost sustain the notes indefinitely as you'll hear in this example. And I could go on. And as we turn up the tension, the low pass filter will close a lot quicker, our high frequencies will be cut off a lot quicker, and we won't be able to sustain the note for as long. And finally, when we turn up the tension all the way, we'll hear very little high frequencies and the tone dies off almost immediately. So in general, I like to think of the tension parameter as my general decay parameter of this engine and it's combined with a filter. The longer the decay, the more I will hear high frequencies and the shorter the decay, the less high frequencies I will hear. And the next parameter is the impulse decay. I know it only says impulse here or imp, but if you go to the LFO page and address this parameter, it says decay. And that's because this stands for how long does the impulse noise that makes our string vibrate, how long does this last for? Either it is very short and the string is being plucked, or it is long and the string is being bowed. Continuously hear the white noise bowing the string. Or just plucking it. This of course also affects the overall decay of our tone because if we just shortly pluck the note it will be a lot shorter like this. But 
but if we keep bowing the string it will first of all be louder, more intense and the note will ring out for a lot longer as well because it's being excited for a longer time. And next up is the impulse type and this basically is a filter on the white noise signal that excites the string, meaning either the filter is low like this or the filter is open and you hear more white noise so it gets very harsh. If we translate that to a pick being used, this would be maybe a soft guitar pick and this would be a harder one. So yeah, that's just a filter on the initial impulse signal. And lastly, these two white dots right here on the original OP1, these look like microphones and are called the detune parameter, as it is here if I address it with the LFO. And to understand what this parameter is doing, basically imagine that the string engine is producing the exact same audio signal twice, but as you increase this parameter they get shifted in and out of phase, meaning one of these signals will be slightly delayed as opposed to the other, and we can see it in the oscilloscope hopefully. So we're gonna start listening with these dots apart, meaning this is all the way turned down and that means that our signals are completely in phase, meaning there is no cancellation of frequencies and as we increase this value there will be frequencies cancelling each other out by the opposing waves and as we turn it up all the way our waves will be completely 100 degrees out of phase and this will cause a perceived change in pitch that is higher. So let's hear it. Sounds lower, sounds higher. So in the end this parameter is a good one to subtly alter your sound as well as it being a good parameter to modulate to get some nice phasing effects like this. As opposed to this. You can easily make the sound a lot more alive by modulating this parameter. And that's it for this little tutorial on the OP1 string engine. I want to give a massive shout out to the maker of op-101.blogspot.com which is an amazing website that describes all the synthesizer engines in the OP1 in detail and I got a lot of information from there. So if you want to check that out, link down in the description. Other than that, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, a comment down below, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. And if you want to learn more about the OP1, contact me for private online lessons, link also down in the description or watch more of these videos like this one over here. And have a wonderful time. Peace.